Hi everyone, welcome to today's reading. Today we are going to do a reading about you and your person. We're going to get the overall energy. I'm going to pull some oracle cards to describe your you, your person, how they're feeling on the situation, what's going on. Um, I just want you to think of your person, um, the situation you have, if there's a question that you have about them, uh, maybe some sort of advice that you're wanting to um, know on a situation or um, want to know like what's the outcome of what's going to happen if you use that advice. Um, you know, all these readings are up to you. So I'm just going to pull three cards and we're going to do three different piles today. And I want you to just pick the one that is calling to you based on the stones that I'm picking to go with it. So this will be pile one, pile two, and pile three. And I'm going to do this for pile one. Oh, this looks too this too much the same, guys. <laughs> I need different rocks for pile two and pile three. All right, and I'll do a close-up shot to give you guys a couple minutes to decide which card you want to go with. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Okay, this message is for pile one. If you chose this stone, this message is for you and it's about your relationship and we're gonna pull some cards on it. Okay, so first we're going to start with the first card, which is the Ten of Voices. Okay, and this card kind of talks about, um, I hate to start the reading off this way, but for some of you, um, you may be going through some hurt right now. Um, maybe you and your person are separated. Um, I'm also picking up, it could be like a painful ending um, or have deep wounds, like somebody is hurting. Um, so maybe it's not you, maybe it's your person, vice versa. Um, maybe something has happened and you're separated, you're breaking up, you're thinking about breaking up. Um, that is the overall energy I'm getting on your relationship so far. So um, we'll pull a few more cards though to see how things are going. I'm going to pull one of these oracle cards to represent you and one oracle card to represent your person. Um, and I'm just going to do two separate piles and pick the pile that resonates with you based on the things that I'm reading from the card as to identify to you and your person um, because everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different. So for the first card we have the peacock and that is inspiration so we'll put this one to the side. Um, that is for our per first person um, and then we'll pull one more that one's kind of wanting to stay out and then we have flamingo community. Okay, and I'm going to get the book for these to read about them because there is a lot of information in the book um, and I don't know these cards super well. But this one is the number 52, so that could be of significance to you guys. Um, this card is also represented as an air sign, so you may be dealing with an air sign or you may be an air sign yourself. Um, the overall energy of this is pride in our achievement creates inspiring change. So perhaps you or your person is a creative person, uh, maybe they are an inspiring person, maybe you're going through a lot of change or just, you know, transforming in general. Um, the key message here is finding balance and knowing when to move from one energy mode to another with grace. Um, the symbols of the peacock teach us that it takes many repetitious steps to fully awaken to our most spiritual selves through our spiritual practice in our daily rituals and lifestyles. Um, peacocks are true gatekeepers to our pride. They permit us to show off our true colors and see true beauty in all around us, all around us, all around us, allowing us to act as inspirational guides to those who are drawn to our unique plumage and captivating offerings to the world. We collect, we collect wisdom and seek the guided showcase of the world, proud to our story and our journey and our 
accomplishments. Sorry, guys, I can't read. <laughs> Never to apologize for how beautiful, powerful, or wise, or talented we are. Um, so overall, that's a pretty good energy. Um, I'll pull some more cards to get like a little bit more clear clarity on it, but maybe perhaps this person. Um, I would say they think of themselves highly. I'm not gonna get into any judgment quite yet. Um, we also have the number 19. So that may be significant for you guys, um, either you or your person. This is a water sign card or this card is represented by water in the book. Um, this is called, I serve with my love, affection and attention. It's the um, community card again. Flamingos are very social birds living in colonies with populations that number in the thousands. They conjugate not only to feed together, but pair up for mating and also for, for safety from predators. Once their babies are just a few weeks old, they coordinate a kind of childcare group so that most adults can wander further to feed and provide more food growing chicks and flamingos. Flamingos will travel a long distance to migrate to abundant sources of food and they're usually in the same areas year after year. So I'm kind of getting like this person, maybe um, somebody who relies on others quite a bit. Um, they may also take pride in family or their community. Um, they may have a lot of friends. Um, it also says the color pink represents passion, compassion, and nurturing. So this person may just be a natural nurturer and have that sort of energy surrounding them. So we have an air sign, a water sign, number 52, and number 19, just to give you guys some numbers. And let's go ahead and move forward with the cards. I'm going to pull a tarot card on each person here. So what does pile one need to know about the peacock card? Please get us one um, card on the peacock card. We have the chariot. Okay, so this person, you may be in a long distance relationship with them. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, or like I said, for some of you, you're actually in separation from this person. Um, just kind of depends on your um, situation. But this card kind of talks about like, I don't know, being at a distance from somebody. That's mostly what they what they talk about. Um, it could also mean that somebody is going to be contacting you soon. Um, this person usually has a lot of determination, control, will willpower, success, and usually willing to take action of some sort. So you see the horses are kind of just like rolling in. This lady's trying to rein in the horses and her inner light is just shining through. So I feel like, again, this kind of goes with the peacock energy. It is just a very, um, I would say, uh, go-getter type of person, okay? And that can be in pertaining to your relationship as well. So let's go ahead and pull one card on the flamingo person. Okay. So we actually got the death card in reverse. Um, so let me look at this picture because it's kind of cool. Okay, for some reason I'm getting like, just based off this en energy is like eyes wide shut. I don't know if you've ever heard of that phrase, but that came to me. Um, so when the death card is in reverse, it actually means this person is resistant to change. Um, personal transfer transformation. Um, they may be having some sort of like inner conflicts with themselves. So I feel like this person, like there's this web here and it's kind of like they're like wrapped up in their thoughts is what I'm getting. Um, so this person is probably very stuck in their head about the situation or has something going on in that aspect. So let's get some cards for the and this may be about the situation not so much about your person i'm gonna kind of move these cards a little bit so we can have some room to do the spread i want the layout to be somewhat similar okay so um let's get some cards on 
Let's clarify the chariot a little bit. I'm gonna use this other tarot deck that I have here and pull a card. I'm gonna do three cards on the chariot. Three cards, please. What do we need to know about the chariot? Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Swords in reverse. And the Queen of Coins in reverse. Okay. Um, so all these cards came out in reverse. I'm just getting the energy. So it's kind of like mature energy, but it's like the Queen of Cups when she's reverse that's not good um okay so with these cards coming out in reverse in the chariot like i said this is a pretty prideful person usually especially with the peacock energy um but the cups often talks about emotions so this person they may be feeling like they're a perfectionist a little bit um getting that vibe with this um, and they maybe like have a little bit of self doubt or stuck in some kind of funk. Um, something is going on because they have a lot of anxiety um, going on in the relationship. I'm getting. They may also be kind of like moody or just unrealistic with their expectations. And then with the Queen of Coins in reverse, I'm also sensing that they are like wanting some financial independence, perhaps. Um, and like we said before, like that that peacock person could be kind of materialistic, so maybe that's important to them, um, or maybe they do have a lot of like financial independence, but they're wanting the other person to have some more like financial independence. Um, it's a little bit strange. Okay, so let's clarify the debt. We have the Seven of Wands. I'm going to take that in the upright position. I'm going to move these three down like that. Okay, the Seven of Wands in the upright. Let's clarify the death, please. Clarify this death card in reverse. Okay, here are other two cards. We've got the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so overall, this person over here, since it's in conjunction with the death card in reverse, and that often talks about like endings of a cycle, um, I'm also picking up that we have like the seven of wands. So that, that, let's focus on that first. When it's in the reverse, it's about, you know, being exhausted, giving up, just being totally overwhelmed with the situation that's at hand. Um, so if that's you or your person, they may be feeling that way. And then when we have the swords there, again, it's like they are going through some sort of ending. So I'm feeling like whatever is going on with this person, um, maybe they are relying a lot on their community to get them through this time. But they are going through some sort of ending or transformation with themselves. I'm Like again, with the Ten of Voices being the overall energy, I'm kind of sensing there is a breakup for you guys um, or a separation during this period. Also, um... We have this person may be like down on their luck. Um, they may be trying to break a cycle of some sort or they are just resisting some sort of change in their life um, altogether. So I wanted to pull, I made some cards. I'm looking for them. There they are. I've made some cards. Uh, these are just homemade ones. I'm gonna pull a couple on you and your person just to kind of get a little bit more insight. Maybe we can figure out what this is about. So let's just do a couple cards for each of you. Okay, the first card that came out for the peacock side is I want to give you a son. So this person has been thinking about um, a family life with you or maybe you already have a family life with this and maybe they just want to like nurture that relationship. Um, we've got Savage F-U-C-K. So this person may be a little bit cold at times. And what else do we have? Okay, 
Hey, stranger. Okay, so again, this is somebody that is, is separated. Uh, I've confirmed that right there. You guys are definitely in separation. Um, or you will be soon, unfortunately. Um, you know your situation, so... Um, and I'm not telling you to break up either. Sometimes couples do take a separation. It does not mean that they don't get back together. So I don't want you to read it as that either. Um, we'll get into the advice. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to take just this top one because it came out that way. We have people pleasing over here. So someone is a little bit of a people pleaser on the death side. And maybe that's part of the struggle that this person has come to. Maybe they're trying to get a little bit more balance in their life. Okay. You deserve someone who is sure about you. So that person's also a little bit indecisive. And I'm going to get this one. And it says, don't dismiss this clarity. This is the clarity you prayed for, not confusion. So Spirit is literally telling you don't be confused about what's going on in this situation. If this is you or your person. Um, they're just saying that like this, this is a clear message and a clear sign that someone... Like, this came out right before. You deserve someone who is sure about you. And I, I underline sure. Like, you need positivity in your life. Um, nobody likes when people are wishy-washy and go back and forth on their word. That's just not good. I'm, I mean, we all do it at some point. We get cold feet about situations. And, you know, we may start off strong or whatever and then get into a situation where, you know, things don't feel right. So we start to pull back some of our energy. So let's get um, a little bit of advice. And this advice is coming from Spirit. Um, you can do what you wish with this advice. You don't have to take it. Um, this is just the cards coming out. And then the after we do the advice, we'll get some cards on um, what would happen or a likely outcome if you take the advice. Or maybe some of you that don't take the advice is just kind of the likely outcome of the situation. Okay, so let's do one card. We have the Seven of Wands. Or no, not Wands. I'm sorry, I said that. Seven of um, Swords in reverse. So what should we... Didn't we already have that? No, okay. Different, different one. <laughs> okay, so we have the Seven of Voices in reverse. So this is like the... Um, I'm trying to make sure I got that in the camera. So I feel like this person, just by doing the energy of this card, so this something sneaky is going on here. Um, it may be you, be you or your person, but somebody is hiding something. Somebody thinks they're sl as sly as a fox. Um, I'm getting like two-faced or like they're hiding behind like, I, don't, I know those are pyramids, but they're hiding behind something. Um, you can see on one face she looks kind of like peaceful and calm like this happy one up here. Looks a little bit peaceful, and then this one looks like a little bit like that savage F-U-C-K card, like something's going on. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting from that. So let's see what this Seven of Voices is about. Can we get three cards on the Seven of Voices, please? Okay, Five of Wands in reverse. So there may be some conflict here. Um, Let's see what else is coming up. The Eight of Cups. And one more. Okay. <laughs> um, this is interesting. So I'm getting like, for some of you, the advice is don't be afraid to walk away. Um, it's asking, like Spirit is saying, trust your emotions. Um, you know how to feel about something. Like, you know, like deep down you have a gut feeling. Um, let's see. This person or this somebody has maybe manipulated the situation. Um, and has given you like some sort of feeling of like disappointment I'm getting regret um the eight of cups talks about like walking away and the five of wands is usually like some sort of conflict or confrontation so so maybe you kind of already know what's going on with this situation uh, like i said this person is like sneaking around something they have a secret from you they're hiding from you they're not telling you something 
Um, and they, they kind of are like, maybe like a moody person. So you, I would say this is saying like, don't rock the boat, um, pick your battles and know when to like move forward. That's the message I'm getting from spirit and that's how I'm gonna take that. So let's see, if you guys move forward in this relationship or the advice, how many cards is that? That was a lot. Okay, so I think three came out. And I was gonna clarify, but we'll just go ahead and take these as they come. So first we have the awakening card, which is like the judgment card. So this card and this deck is a little bit different, but um, we also have it in conjunction with the Muse of the emotion, Emotions, which is like the um, King of Cups, and then the Eight of Inspiration. So I'm, I'm going with like this is saying like awakening. That one's, let me pull the book for that one because this one, I wanna see if there's a different meaning. Okay. Okay, so this is like basically like we need to kind of face the music here. Um, we're going to be receiving some kind of clarity about a situation. Okay, and I'm, I'm going since like this muse of emotions came out i'm going with like you're going to be really in touch with your emotions your gut is going to tell you exactly what to decide and um i'll show these cards together too like you may feel like you're taking a step backwards in the situation or that you're feeling a little stuck in the situation or that you're being delayed in some way but overall like good things are going to come because um it's just not going to go the way you you naturally thought they were going to go or the way you naturally um, imagined it going in your head. Um, for some reason, there is going to be some sort of setback. So I'm going to get one love message from the universe for you guys to see um, just some inspiration, something to hopefully be uplifting. We just want one message for pile one, please. I'm going to cut the deck and we're going to get the message in half. Okay. What you give will come back. When in doubt, can you see it? Okay, yeah, I was just looking. When in doubt, give, let them have it. Surrender, make peace. There's no doubt. Give them and let them have it. Surrender and make peace. Did I make life too easy? The universe. P.S. There's no doubt who's number one in my book. Shh. Okay, so again, this kind of goes like with you deserve someone who is sure about you. This is a message from spirit and so is this. It's just basically saying like if you give out good vibes and good energy to people, eventually the good will come back to you. Um, and that person is saying to like rely on your community. And I feel like whoever this person is here is going through a lot of growth and moving on with life. Um, and I kind of feel like for a lot of you that are in this read, this is going to be about you and that's probably about your person. Um, I hope this is not you guys pile one acting like a jerk. <laughs> I don't know. You kind of also send like a mixed signal here too, if this is you, because it says, I want to give you a son, but they're savage and they are your stranger. Like they don't even know you. They don't want to get to know you. Um, they don't want to know the details of your life. Um, it just seems like they're kind of like leaving you out in the cold there a little bit. Um, okay, so if this message resonated with you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully this gave you some insight on your situation or what to do. Again, always the decision is yours. You know, this is just kind of to give you clarity on a situation. Okay, this message is for pile two. If you pick pile two, this is for you. This is a tiger's eye stone. I love the energy of this stone. It's just very powerful and um, I don't know. Look it up later when, if you have time. Um, we have for your card the Muse of Materials. This is kind of the overall energy or like what's going on in the relationship. Um, I think that's how I have it, right? 
yeah, the overall relationship. So I think this is beautiful for your guys' card. Um, this card talks about being really abundant, um, basically having everything you want in life, um, in your material world. Um, <laughs> it's just that song came to me, The Material Girl by um, who, Tiffany, I don't know. Anyways, um, so basically like you're very financially stable or, or you and your partner and your relationship is, you guys could be focusing on building um, a family together or taking the next chapter in your life. Maybe you're um, just getting to know them and everything's very fruitful or, you know, maybe you are getting married soon or you've been married a really long time. Whatever the stage in your relationship, um, overall, that is a amazing energy to start the reading off with. I'm going to pull one of these cards to um, kind of represent you and one to represent your person. I'm going to read some things from the book so you can kind of get um, a feel for, well, those are them, um, for like who is who in the situation. We'll put it that way. Okay. I love this. I've never seen this card before, but this is mystery and it's a black cat, the number 54. So we're going to put this person on this side. And then we have the number 62, Swan and Harmony. I'm going to read just a little bit from the book on each of those cards. I don't want to read the full description because that book has got a lot in there, but just a little bit to kind of give you some information. Maybe you or your person's a cat person. I like cats a lot. Leave a comment below if you're a cat person. I just want to know. I know it has nothing to do with anything. Okay. So this card, okay, so this is a little bit weird. Most of these cards from this deck are associated with some sort of astrology, like not sign, but whatever the grouping is. Anyways, um, this one's associated with spirit. So this maybe overall just a me message from spirit. Maybe you are single. Um, that could be for some of you people, and that's why you're just feeling abundant and living your life. Um, maybe you're not super close to your person yet. Maybe you're connecting with your person on a um, 5D level or something like that, um, or telepathically, or you haven't met them yet. That could be for some of you. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, but there is an additional message from Spirit, so that's what I want you guys to know. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that like you're not with somebody, so just take it as applies. Like maybe, like I said, maybe one of you guys is a cat person. <laughs> Everybody, you're either a cat person or not a cat person. There's no in between. Okay, um, so this says mystery, and the energy is spirit. It says we can unlock our deepest desires when holding gentle yet persuasive intentions. Domesticated cats are the direct descendants of their wild cat ancestors, although they know mostly. Although they now mostly live peacefully with humans, cats can still have a wild streak running through their blood. Their primal instinct for hunting cannot be tamed. So this person, if you're dealing with someone, they may just have like a wild streak once in a while. They may, they may just, you know, you think you know them and then all of a sudden you find out something you don't know them. They're just full of surprises is what I'm getting. Um, let's see. The cat is heightened hearing, has heightened hearing and exceptional night vision, allowing them hunt in low light. So your person may be a hunter. They may be a night owl, like a night person. Um, cats are very territorial when they fight over other cats to defend their home base. So they will also mark their territory, it says. And it goes on and on. So overall, you should be able to get a few things from that energy or that person or to describe you or your person. Okay, so this is number 62. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because this is also a spirit energy. <laughs> so you guys may be together. Maybe you guys are just both like really elevated in your lives. You're both in touch with your spirituality. Um, that That's awesome. I've never had that happen in one of these readings, but I like it. Okay, so harmony is found when we are mirrored with the things that we love about ourselves. Swans form monogamous bonds with a mate from who they usually stay with for life, showing us that the benefit of healing our relationships in order to make them harmonious is, is long and lasting. During courtship, they can often be seen as iconic head-to-head -head posture as well as bill dipping. They are fiercely protective of their eggs and their babies, reminding us to keep our loved ones sacred and safe. Swans are symbols of pure love, grace, harmony. They show us that we can mirror exactly what we wish to ourselves in both light and dark. 
So again, this kind of talks about being like protective. Um, so maybe you two are very just in your own little bubble of the world. You enjoy everything you guys have and you're just very, I don't know, protective of what you're building. Um, you guys maybe work on things together. So let's get a card for the cat person. Whoa, one card. <laughs> okay, the muse of inspiration. That is awesome. So this is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wild card, wild card that's coming out to me. This person is a very passionate person, whoever this is. Um, they feel very passionately about the relationship. They um, may be a creative person. I think that talked about a little bit in the cat card. So I'm getting this person could be creative, maybe into music or art. Um, for some reason that's coming to me. They just like to live life on the edge. Um, they are a natural born leader. Um, they usually have a clear vision in life. They know exactly what they want to do. So again, this also goes in with the use of materials. So that is beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm glad that you guys are getting that. Let's get one card for this swan person and what's going on. Let's see what's going on with the swan person. One card for the swan person and how they view, view the relationship. Okay, this is too many cards. That's two cards. Should we take two cards, guys? We're going to take two cards. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is interesting. So, um, the five emotions and the hanged man. So let me see what this one is in reverse because I don't remember the five of cups. Okay. All right. So your person or you, whoever this is, may be feeling a little bit or having some sort of setback and maybe trying to make a decision on something. They may feel a little bit stuck and maybe that is you know, kind of in the relationship or like what progress they want to be making um, or where they want the relationship to head. So they may just be having a little stuck energy. We're going to clarify that. I'm not sure if I want to clarify this yet because it feels like this person like is literally on fire. They are super, super passionate about their life and the relationship. I really don't feel like there should be any confusion on that end of what's going on with this person but we do have that mystery card so we'll, we'll check in a minute to see if we need to clarify this let's clarify the hangman and the um emotions please let's what do we need to know about this situation from this person cards are getting hard to shuffle so i'm going to take some okay the nine of wands i'm going to just do one Okay, so the Nine of Wands for this person, they are, they may be on a journey where they're kind of testing their faith and what they want out of life. Um, I know this card doesn't have a lot on there, um, this deck I usually just use for clarifiers. Um, they may be like testing their own faith their own boundaries and kind of just deciding what they want in life. That's the vibe I'm getting because they're a little bit like in a stuck energy. I'm going to pull a few cards. I don't think I'm going to clarify that just yet unless there's something like really wacky when I pull cards. So let's do three cards for the mystery cat, the passionate cat. What do we need to know about this cat energy? We have secretly in love. Okay, so they, mystery, <laughs> they are secretly in love. Maybe they're not good at expressing, expressing, expressing their emotions to you. Okay, so you could be maybe in the dark about that. Big gossip and rumors. Okay, that's interesting. This person is hiding something. This is weird. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that because I thought they would be really passionate about their person. May, are you in a secret relationship with this person? Is that what's happening? Are you, are you two in a secret relationship? What else do we need to know about this mystery cat? One more card, please. I want to give you a son. Okay, so this person um, wants to build a life with you. So that is good. I'm going to take that positively. 
um, or it's you. I mean, that could be you. Maybe you have thought about starting a family with this person. Maybe there's something, though, like a block in the relationship to where that's not possible right now. We are going to clarify this Muse of Inspiration in just a second because that is very weird energy to me. What do we need to know about the swan person and how they view this relationship? Let's try to get some clarity on what's causing that anxiety or what that's about. What are they questioning? Is it their faith? That's kind of strange to me. Regina George. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this person, I wrote this card. If you know the, the movie Mean Girls, guys, if you don't look it up, this card is like, I don't know, Regina George, if you know that energy, that vibe, she's kind of fake. Um, she puts a lot of pressure on people. I don't know. We'll pull some more cards. You know, she's kind of like, if you don't do my, things my way, like you're not good enough. I don't know. That's just a heavy energy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so maybe that's why this person's feeling like a little bit withdrawn from the situation. What else do we have? Rose colored glasses over red flags. So this person may be seeing some red flags about the situation. Maybe this person thinks the other person is mean and spiteful. Um, maybe this person's in their head a little bit about the situation. This is just getting in. Okay. You love too much. Okay, so they're saying you either that's a message from spirit telling you that you love too much or your person is just like a very loving person and they literally come at every situation with a lot of love. I'm going to pull some three cards on this muse of inspiration. What do we need to know about this mystery cat and like how they feel about the relationship? I feel like there's some sort of gossip going on. Three of Wands. Okay, so this person, this goes into I want to give you a son. This person is making conscious de decisions about planning in the relationship, what they want to do moving forward or towards you. Um, they may also be planning to travel. Um, that's for some people. Okay, and they're coming at you with a solid mature love offer. Um, or this person has a lot of mature love. They're very in tune with their emotions. They are a very passionate person. So I feel like when they see something, they want it, they get it. Um, I feel like this is just a really confident person. And this person's a little bit, I don't know, in their heads about it. Okay, so that's the last one. Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, but this person may be being like a little bit unfulfilled. Let me see. What does the Eight of Cups reverse? Because I don't know. Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. <sighs> okay, so this person may be feeling like a little bit of lack of fulfillment in their life um, or in their love situation. They may be trying to plan and decide like if this is actually what they want. Uh, with this secretly in love and gossip, maybe they this person is stuck in a relationship with another person. I'm getting that. And they want to be with you. Um, for you, you may be seeing that as a red flag. Or whoever this person is, they may be seeing that as a red flag. And being like, what's going on? So this is just very interesting energy. I've never seen a reading quite like this. <laughs> pile 2. Um, what advice does Pile 2 need on the situation? Please give us some advice moving forward. What does Pile 2 need to know about the situation? Give us some advice. Okay. Page of emotions. Okay. So this is just um, somebody's coming in with a love offer. It's either you or your person. Um, it may be a small love offer. You guys may be having a conversation, a heart to heart I'm getting. Um, this person is literally an open door to talk to. Oops. Knight of Cups. Okay, so that's kind of like contradiction, contradicting. We're gonna get three cards. Um, they may be thinking about what they want to do. I'm getting there is plenty of fish in the sea. Um, this person wants to wrap you up in their tentacles of love is also what I heard. I see that on this um this picture here. Ooh, okay, the devil and the queen of wands. Okay, so you guys have like. 
no matter what, I feel like you guys have a really passionate relationship. Um, there are a lot of emotions in your relationship. Uh, I'm sensing there's a lot of high and lows. There may be some sort of like addiction or toxic situation um, that you guys are going through. Uh, I'm getting a lot of like up and down with emotions and passion. Um, I don't know this like for some of you, this is some sort of love triangle. I'm picking up on that too. Um, so basically it's just saying like the advice, uh, let me look on the cards for just a second here. Okay. It was just taking me a minute to kind of figure out what I think is going on. So I'm going to say what the way these cards came out. So we had the page of emotions. Somebody is wanting to have some sort of conversation. It may be you or your person. Maybe you guys have been trying to think about it for a while. Um, you guys have been like going through this up, like I said, ups and downs in the relationship. Um, somebody here and whoever this person is, it's either you or your person is seeing some sort of like toxic or unhealthy behavior or something that is causing them to be like a little, have a little bit of anxiety about it. Um, but they are coming in with a very like loving manner. Um, they're really trying to work on things with you or you're trying to work on them. Whatever it is, you guys are trying to work on it and you're coming with like a very mature, passionate, um, and just kind of, um, I don't know what the, the words not coming to me. I'm getting like also since this is in the advice to, it's just like, even if something is giving you like some sort of anxiety or butterflies, uh, like the, not the good kind, the kind where you get like that turning feeling in your stomach, um, because your emotions are kind of on edge here. Um, it's saying to just go forward and go with your gut, let your gut guide you and have the conversation, um, with this person, but be confident and know what you want and know where you stand on the situation before you initiate that conversation. Um, that's what's, that's what's coming to me. So what is the likely outcome of this situation for pile two? Can we get the likely outcome? The cards are not shuffling. There we go. Queen of inspiration. Okay. So I know that these are different decks, but we cannot just forget. So the likely outcome is the queen of inspiration, uh, which is the queen of wands right here. So this lady, she's at peace. She's beautiful. Um, this is somebody who has courage, confidence, independence, um, all those things. So this lady is on top of the world. Um, so that is a very good sign. I would say like that is a positive movement forward as far as like the likely outcome. Can you give us a little bit more information, please, on the Queen of Inspiration? What else do we need to know about this Queen of Inspiration? as far as the likely outcome. I'm I'm getting like you guys are still gonna have a lot of passion moving forward, um, that there's things, she just looks so like sensual and that she's like touching the pyramids. She's on point, I just got that because her finger is like touching the tip of that pyramid. Um, she's in tune with her emotions and her mind and her passion. Um, lots of fire energy too, like whoever this is, very passionate. Okay, king of coins. Four of Wands. Okay. Six of Swords. Okay, so I'm getting King of Coins. Mm -hmm. Something about, like, we don't want to rock the boat. Okay, that's what we're getting with the Six of Swords. So the likely outcome. Um... King of Coins, what do we have for that? In reverse, I'm not as good with my reverse. Okay. So the overall outcome is you're gonna be less focused on your material world here because this is the King of Coins. It's, this is reminding you to like take a step back from that. Um, this also talks about like your home life and then moving towards like stable and steady things. So I'm thinking like you guys are gonna have a passionate whatever it is, new beginning based on this advice, but you're going to kind of have to put aside a little bit of like what's going on in your material world and really focus on the relationship that you guys have at hand. Really start taking into things. If something is making you feel uncomfortable, it's always best that the quicker you have a conversation with someone, 
about why it's making you feel uncomfortable, um, the easier that, that problem's resolved and it doesn't keep resurfacing. Um, overall, I feel like this is a, a beautiful energy to like leave you guys off with. We're going to get one message from the universe. Um, what does pile two need to know? And I, I think overall, like this sounds very good. Like I said, you guys have a very strong and passionate relationship with this person. Um, you guys are very, both of you and your person are very in tune with what you, you guys want out of life. So it creates a stable energy for you guys. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck and get one. Okay. You know what you what to do. Okay, so this is just being, again, I would say more with that Queen of Wands. I'm going to call you guys the Queen of Wands. You guys are just a passionate, hot energy. You are very confident. You know, you know what you want, so just go do it. Okay, so it says, In all the battles of the heart over the mind, go with your heart. Because truly, it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind. A whole lot. Not that I don't know, <laughs> not that I don't love your mind. Okay, so that is telling you, again, I feel like the Queen of Wands energy is about, you know, going with your gut and going with your passion, wherever your passion lies. Follow that, follow your heart. So this is perfect energy, it ties right into your reading. Um, I feel like that's great overall advice for you guys. Um, if this message resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help my YouTube channel. I'm fairly new, so I'm just starting out. Um, don't forget to check out some of my other videos too. Thank you guys. Okay, pile three. This this is your reading. If you pick this stone, this message is for you. Um, I'm going to put in the description box a little bit about this if you guys want to look it up this is the stone you picked it has a beautiful energy it's kind of about like happiness and like an empowering energy um for your overall energy of the relationship or the card that we pulled is the nine of inspiration which is a great card to start off with um this is very similar to the nine of wands if you're familiar with that um it's this is about like Protection, setting boundaries in a relationship, following through, um, giving your relationship a final push or like you're really close to the finish line on something. Um, it also talks about giving up too early, being overly vi vigilant. So that's like kind of a negative side of that. Like if, you know, somebody's pushing a little bit too much. Um, it's also about like after all the work and training and the time invested in something, like it's time to like taking some of the delights and the challenges that have come up and just give the final push to make something happen. So this also talks about like having follow through in the situation. Um, so make sure that you are following through with um, what's going on. I'm going to pull one card for you and one card for your person to kind of get um, like an overall energy so like we can, you can pick Sorry, I don't want to talk about I'm shuffling. You can pick um, what energy you kind of relate to more or relates to your person. And I'll read just a little bit from the book. So in case like some people aren't getting it right off the bat, like they can have a little bit more information. I'm not going to read the full description on these because it's long. So for the first person, we have um, bear and protection. So this person is pretty protective. Um, that's a really pretty card. I like the yellows and the reds and the oranges on that. Let's get one more card for the second person for pile three. What do we need to know about them? One card on their energy. Okay, and we have starfish. This person's pretty sensitive. <laughs> I feel like those two energies balance them out, like without even looking at the book. So this is the number 40. I'll hold it up to the camera in just a second when I get out the book. So somebody may be a protector. It's either you or your person. So that is the energy of this card. They may also be an air sign because um, some of these cards are associated with um, signs. Okay, it says stand up for what you know and love. Protect the things that you work hard for. Bears are a symbol of loyalty, strength, and protection. Although bears are largely solitary, the females care and provide for and fiercely protect their cubs in the first three years of their life. So some of you may be a parent or a mother. 
um, you are a very loyal person or your person's a very loyal person, however it goes. Um, adult bears have very few predators due to their um, size and their strength. Um, young cubs are most at risk for being preyed by larger carnivores and they are defenseless they, against bigger am animals. The mama bear spirit is loving, nurturing, and playful. Um, they are also cautious and on guard, much like human mamas. So this can be, like they're saying, male or female. Um, somebody can be a little bit protective. And maybe you have kids with this person. Um, or maybe you're just like very protective of your family, your siblings, something like that. So starfish, this is a sensitive person and we have water energy associated with this. So your person, you or your person may be a water sign. So it says heightened awareness allows us for a higher perspective. Colorful, vibrant starfish have long been known to evoke a wonder and joy in adults and children alike. Although all beings are miracles of the nature of the seas, the sea stars have a magical quality about them that connects us with creativity and our spiritual side. So this person may be really in tune with going to church or their spirituality. I don't know why I said that so weird. <laughs> um, they may also be a very creative person. Um, let's see. Starfish reminds us that we don't need to carry everything on our own. We are invited to spread the weight around and ask for help and drop the things and beliefs that no longer serve us. So this person may also get the thing that they um, maybe take on some of the emotions of other people. They're maybe very sensitive to that type of energy. Like if somebody's saying they're having a bad day, like that kind of gets that person bummed out too. And they're like, oh man, I wish I could help you. Let's vent. Let's eat a, a tub of ice cream together. <laughs> I don't know why I got that. But anyway, let's get one card for each of these people and how they view the relationship or what's going on with the relationship. So one card for the bear, please. Just one card for the bear. We almost lost the whole deck. One card for the bear. All right. We have the Knight of Inspiration. Okay. That is an awesome energy. And one card for the starfish. What do we need to know about the starfish? How are they viewing this relationship? Oop, the star. Okay, cool. That, I believe, I want to say is Aquarius. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius, some of you. Which is also water. The only reason I said that. I forgot to read the numbers on this. This is number 24 and number 40. Or maybe I did. Okay, so... Um, the, let's start over here. The star, whoever the star person is, they view this relationship as very healing to them. Um, they're very in tune with like what's going on. They, I would say, are very, very receptive of their person's wants and needs in the relationship. Um, just because we also get this card associated with it, I'm kind of getting that energy. They may just kind of have like, I'm getting like some sort of sixth sense where they just pick up on... Like, like I was saying, if somebody, they're going to know if you're having a bad day, this person is like wanting to help with that, taking that energy, just very loving is the vibe I'm getting from that. I should hold this up to you guys. Usually I do. So it's just like a lot of positive energy is just radiating from this person, but they're really focused on like healing, um, Healing, maybe they're also healing themselves. They talked about being in tune with their spirituality. So maybe this person is just very like involved with like they're a natural healer or they go to church a lot. Um, sorry, I was looking at that weird blue in the sky on the clouds right here. It's just kind of weird. It's like, I don't even know what that is. I thought it was little hearts, like hearts were flying out of there or something. Anyway, not to be distracting on it, but this person is just like a natural healer and they're in tune with that. The relationship makes them feel whole. Um, you can kind of see like this lady is pulling like the water up to the star. So like I feel like she's literally pulling everything out from inside and letting it radiate out, um, which is nice. Um, I, I like that energy. For me, that, that seems nice. For some of you, that might be not so nice. We'll just see. So for the other person, they this is a very passionate person, um, a very maybe um, impulsive person. They may be a little bit indecisive at times, but they like when they get on an idea, they just run wild with it and they're just like set free. 
Um, this I see the fireworks in the sky. So this person may give you like fireworks when you kiss. Like you, you may have heard that situation. Like you get little butterflies. It's a very passionate, fiery. Uh, if you're dealing with a fire sign, a very passionate person. So let's get. Uh, let's pull these cards first. So these are just homemade cards. I'm going to pull some energy to get some messages from each person. Um, we will start with the bear. Let's get three cards for the bear. What does the bear want to say? Okay, they say, I want to drown with your lips in the ocean of our kisses. Okay, so this person is very... Um, they are very in love with you. That's just what I feel right there with that card and me sort of fire um maybe they're like i said do i see the knight is very kind of protective knights are protective of course okay and i'm going to take this top one it says makes me feel safe so i'm guessing that with this protection energy um you feel safe with this person this person feels safe with you maybe emotionally financially just whatever way you provide for this person or they provide for you or maybe this person has a way of making you feel safe if you're not the the bear okay and one more card for the bear <laughs> buy me things okay that's kind of funny so that person may be a little bit materialistic um not that's not always a bad thing um, or maybe that's how they show they love you is they like to buy a lot of things for you. Um, you know, that's just the way some people are, you know, buying people things is not always a bad thing. So what do we need to know about the star? Let's get a little bit more on the star energy and the relationship. So we have, I want to taste you again, like a secret sin. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is a secret love. Um, maybe you haven't come out and told everybody in the world that you two are together yet. Um, maybe you're still in kind of that honeymoon phase where you guys are still getting to know each other. And, um, I don't know. Love of my life. Wow. That's some heavy stuff. That is good though. So right now in this moment, this person sees you or you see this person as the love of your life. Um, I'm getting because that you are very healing. Um, with this, like there's a lot of healing energy. You are on my mind. Okay, so this person thinks about you a lot or you think about your person a lot. Again, you can kind of see with this card, this lady, she's kind of like looking off into the space and I'm getting like, for her, like meeting you is just been an amazing journey for them. Um, and you're constantly on this person's mind. They always want to know what's going on. They always want to see like, how things are going. So let's get some advice. Um, we don't really have any like issue. Let's let's clarify the nine of inspiration. What what are we needing to move past? Like what what is the final hurdle of the relationship? Oh, okay, so we got two that popped out. Five of coins and nine of swords. One more card. Ace of swords. Okay. So the five of coins in reverse with the nine of swords. Okay, so what the final step is that you guys are trying to figure out in your relationship I'm getting is that there is some sort of materialistic or financial burden that you guys have been experiencing or maybe like you're not sure how you guys are going to make ends meet. Um, but this is talking about basically letting go of that fear and kind of just starting forward and you're going to, you guys are going to start with like a really clear, clear, clear um, plan I'm getting together. You guys are going to be putting together some sort of plan and it's going to be clear and you guys hopefully can be on the same page with it. So let's get some advice on the situation of how they can move forward in the relationship or what they should do. Because so far I feel like you guys have a very loving um, relationship. It's not like the other car or the other reads. Okay, we're going to take that four of materials. Okay, so yeah, you guys are really like clinging on to literally your material world. Um, somebody is very, I'm going to say protective of the material things that you guys have. Um, maybe you guys have been going through a hard, um, some sort of hardship. We'll see. Let's get three more cards. On the, oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so this is very interesting. 
Um, just a second here while I get the energies. Okay, so like I said, you guys are kind of like focused on saving money or that is what you guys need to do to get out of this. You need to focus really hard. The advice is on saving money. Um, you guys need to, to, to focus on not being too greedy. Whoever this is, buy me things. If that's you or your person, like you need to hone that in a little bit. Um, because if you guys do want to be together and have happiness, cause I see some, there is happiness coming. Um, you guys need to figure out your plan or like come up with some sort of budgeting or something. That's what I'm getting. These are just the, the words that are coming to me. Um, because somebody is like overspending a little bit and they're, they may be doing this in a way because they feel like if they buy things, like it's just protection or financial security, they're like showing off in a way, but it's really kind of like devastating where you guys are trying to go. Um, and the only, the only setback here in this plan, I feel like is that this guy is in reverse. So you guys need to like stop just talking about it and actually be about it because maybe somebody has brought it up or maybe you guys haven't had the conversation, but like somebody is thinking about talking about it. Um, it just like the only way to get started is literally to get started to have that conversation um, because then you can start focusing on the happiness and where you guys want to go and get a long term plan. So what is the likely outcome of the situation for pile three? Let's get the likely outcome, please, for pile three. Okay, seven of materials. I'm going to pull some clarifiers on that as well. Please give us three cards on the seven of materials. Whoops. Three cards. We got the death card, so you guys know. So seven of materials in reverse, the death card, the sun in reverse, and the two of coins. You guys have a lot of coins, so you guys are really focused on your money. Okay, so the likely outcome is literally saying, like, if you guys don't um, kind of make a long-term plan or if you guys have a lack of vision of where this is going, the cycle that you're going through is never going to come to an end and it is going to lead you to a lot of unhappiness. Um, and it's just not going to be, well, it's going to be, I'm getting like, it's a disorganized, disorganized mess, like a uncontrolled chaos is what I'm getting. So if you guys don't have this talk or don't take the advice and get planned and like start planning a little bit, um, the likely outcome is going to be a little bit of, an explosion, a chaos, um, a little unbalanced is what I'm getting. So like I said, the hardest part is to just start somewhere. And one of you has to be like a little bit disciplined on that. Okay. I was going to get you one love message and there it is. So you guys need to be just a little bit more d disciplined and focused on that. Okay. So it says honor thyself. So this just kind of means like go with your gut do what you think is right. Oops. Let me read the back of it. Just curious. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? It matters. Here's to looking at you, gorgeous. P.S. Hubba hubba counts. <laughs> okay, so um, it's just basically giving yourself a little self-love. Um, so I get that phrase, treat, treat yourself. Um, but let's do that maybe in a less like financial spending way. Um, at least that's what the cards are telling me. You can, you can, um, show self love to you or love to your partner in other ways than to buy the materialistic things. Um, there's lots of free things you guys can do. There are lots of ways to express your love to people. Um, maybe just revamping in that way. Cause like, you don't want to end up in this like unhappy situation here. Cause this is like, Something that's coming to an end, and maybe it's not even, this could also just mean that, like, the ending of an unhappy cycle with your money being out of balance, okay? Um, I, I'm kind of reading that two different ways. So, you guys, take what resonates with you. Um, thank, thank you for watching. If you like this message, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like it, subscribe. It does help my channel out a lot. All right, have a good, have a good one, guys.